Hi, welcome back. Today I am going to be taking these beautiful papers from Stampin' Up! called Regal Winter and using them with the coordinating die set, <laughs> coordinating die set called Regal Florals to create something totally unrelated to winter. So let's get started. Let's take a look at some of these beautiful papers. They, the colors, um, I think are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the deep, rich colors of them. And because it's called Regal Winter, I think it's because of the different blues and kind of the um, frosty, icy kind of look to some of the papers. And then of course it could be used for Christmas because of all the reds and greens. But what I wanted to use it for today was some photos taken back in 2022, uh, 2022 of my son and his wife um, and they were expecting our darling little Addison then and so I had them for um, I had these pictures of a um, pregnancy photo shoot that they did and I thought the autumn colors really went well with some of these papers especially and let me show you some of the specialty designer series papers that is part of this uh, regal winter suite um, these papers have that gold embossed look to them which um, i think is just absolutely stunning and i think it will look once perfect. again i turned to my make it from your heart volume six sketch book from close to my heart and um, I had quite a few photos that I wanted to use on this layout. So this pattern number 18 was perfect because it had nine photos and it had several um, four by sixes uh, that it incorporated as well. It had a nice large title and plenty of room for some journaling. So this was the layout that I wanted to start with. So let's see the uh, layout for the sketch. I've got the right hand page laid out with um, the three, three by threes, a four by six. And down here was a big box for journaling and a large title. But I had one more, well, actually two more pictures that I wanted to include. And I just printed them out. They're two um, photos that are three by four size that I just put on one four by six photo. So I'm using that down here instead of the journaling because I don't have a big story to tell other than the name and the date and the place. And then on the right hand side, you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five different pattern papers um, to use on here. And that's another reason I like this sketch because I could use all the papers, <laughs> which are absolutely stunning. So I've decided to go with the blue because it brings in the blue from this side. Um, on my son's shirt and in my daughter-in-law's pants. And I wanted the dark blue at the bottom because I thought it made a nice mat with these small photos that are down here at the bottom of the sketch. I thought those made a nice mat with that. All right, and then the next layer, I thought let's do the green leaves. And then um, I was trying to kind of break them up a little bit, so kind of a solid pattern. Um, I was trying to break up the colors a little bit as well. And then the next one layer up will be this kind of um, golden wheat color. I like how that's looking, and I really, really think that that pairs nicely with these photos. It really, really brings out those autumn colors. And then, of course, a little bit of that cherry cobbler that will go at the very top. So then these photos will go kind of like that. And they extend over to the other side as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those down and try to figure out um, a mat maybe for these pictures and then I'll be right back. Everything is cut down to size. I have not adhered any of those papers down yet um, because I wanna do some stamping to it first before I do. So let's see, and I mounted the photos all in Night of Navy. Um, along here, I did not mount those because uh, I thought they stood off the paper quite nicely without being, um, without having a mat on them. So now before I adhere this down, I wanna do a little bit of stamping here and maybe up here where the title is. And 
The Regal Floral set has this really cute little polka dot um, uh, texture stamp. And then I also have this one called The Art of of Art and Texture. And it had all these really cool different patterns in it. And I thought it would be um, interesting to kind of stamp this one up along the edge there to stamp that border. I'm trying to decide what color I want though. Maybe I should keep it with the um, same color that this is, that Blackberry Bliss. Probably should do that. All right, so let's get our stamps in our inks and let's start on that. I am going to use Blackberry Bliss, so I'm going to turn my Versamat over on the spongy side. Okay, let's move this out of the way a little bit. Scooch that over. Now, then we will stamp here. Now, Blackberry Bliss is a pretty dark color, but I like it. So we're going to stamp there. Now, while I'm doing this, I should mention, I forgot to mention before, that um, this video today is part of a collaboration with my crafty friends at the Inspiration Collaboration design team. And what we decided to do this month was to put a twist on the seasonal um, papers and stamp sets in the current um, mini catalog. And I think I want to bring some of that wheat, honey wheat color down here as well. So I've got, I don't have um, the wheat color, but I do have Hello Honey, and that was pretty close. So I'm going to do some stamping with the leaves down here. And like I say, I am going to be putting some stamping, um, or not stamping, some clusters that I made with the stamps down here in these corners. So I just want to add a little bit of um, stamping behind the clusters. I think that gives it a little extra um, depth and dimension. And let's see, I've got this floral piece. I'm using that with the green. It's called Emerald. What's it called? Emerald Envy, which is an older color from Stampin' Up. But I think it works well with this, especially since I didn't have that uh, peacock color that was in this collection. So I'm just going to add some of the floral pieces down there. And let's see, I think there's one more. Maybe I'm going to try to add with this little guy right here. Let's put him in the Knight of Navy, but let's stamp off on that as well. Because that is dark. Let me get that inked up a little bit better. Okay, let's put some of that in between these floral pieces, and hopefully when I get my um, embellishments in there, this will all make more sense. Okay? All right, I want to do some up in that top right corner, too. All right, I'm going to stamp that Hello Honey color the leaf up here. Let's do it twice. Then you can move the title back. So I should mention the um, title and ephemera piece I got, um, did a search on my Cricut and made a title. And I do have quite a few tutorials and I'll link some the playlist right up here on how I cut from my Cricut. But do you see this? Um, this is cut from the Regal Floral, has these dies and this die actually cuts out a solid piece and this thin border. Let's see. So I cut out, it cut out this solid piece and then it also cut out that thin border, which I thought would be a nice way to kind of um, uh, tie everything together up here in this corner, something like that. All right, I'm gonna work on the rest of this, get this glued down, and then we'll be back to work on embellishments. As you may have noticed, I've started putting some of my embellishment clusters down. Now what I did this morning, I just sat down with the um, Stampin' Die set from the Regal Floral, Flora, <laughs> St 
stamp and die set. So it's got, like I said, the beautiful stamps and then it's got the dies to go with it. So I just sat down this morning and I made a bunch of them in the different colors and stamped and cut them out. And then I also took some of these dies. These are from the Changing Leaves bundle. Here it is. From the Changing Leaves bundle, stamp and die cut hybrid set. And I cut some of those out of some copper paper that I had. Um, that flora set also cuts out this pretty lacy floral thing. Um, I also cut some leaves from that Changing Leaves bundle out of the vellum. And I found some, and this is also in the Changing Leaves set. It has a bunch of different little um, pieces in it. So I cut some of those out to uh, make some sprigs behind my different floral clusters. So I've just been putting those around and I want to show you what I did over here as I was stamping. Let me see if I can move this. I got, you see that, that ghost image on the stamping. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the die cut pieces that I cut out this morning to cover that up because there are no mistakes in stamping, right? Just happy reasons for embellishments. <laughs> That's what I always say. All right, so we're gonna put that there. Whoops. And I'll probably have to trim that off the top a little bit and then we're gonna stick this little um, floral piece in there as well. Okay. All right, and then down here, we'll start putting this down um, with our multi-purpose glue. So I wanna say thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, and don't forget, if you're liking this video, to go ahead and give that a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. It helps my channel grow and it helps YouTube um, helps you too because it'll tell YouTube that you like these kind of videos and YouTube will continue to show them in your feed then. So uh, these pictures were taken at one of our local uh, state parks around here in the fall um, in October I believe and they were taken just in time <laughs> because um, little Addison came not long after these photos um, were taken. If you've seen one of my other videos, you know um, the story behind um, behind her birth. <laughs> I'll leave that linked up here too so you can uh, catch that and listen to the story behind um, behind her birth. It was really quite funny. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish working on these over here and we'll come back and look at the finished product. I want to add some of these um, dots. It's part of the Regal Winter collection. And these are the Regal Foiled um, dots. And I think they just add that extra touch, a little bit of bling around the layout. And I like how it um, gives those flower centers, the perfect little touch. And then as soon as I'm done with this, I will put my journaling on. Because remember, if you saw me uh, earlier this week, you know that <laughs> journaling is something I don't like to stop and do too often. So I promise I'm going to put my journaling on here and I will show you that as soon as I'm done with this. Should I put one over here or just leave it go? Let's put one up here. I really like it. I like that. All right, I promise I'm going to put some journaling. I think I'm just going to write it down here with my la pen. Date is stamped. Journaling is written. All I have to do is erase those pencil lines. Don't forget to go and check out the other gals in the Inspiration Collaboration Design Team. All their links will be listed down below in the description box, as well as all the links to purchase the products that you see in the layout today. 
So there you have it. I'll leave it here for you so you can take a screenshot. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye.